the Michael Jackson Memorial, there was uh, this moment where this woman, where most of us have never seen her before, led the Heal the World performance. Let's watch. Your heart, and I know that it is love. And this place can be much brighter than tomorrow. And if you really try, you'll find there's no need to cry. Okay, who are you? <laughs> this is Judy Phil from Pasadena, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, he falls in love frequently, but usually he has to meet the person first. Yeah. <laughs> that was not the case this time. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Well, we all fell you. in love with you on stage. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, amazing. Thank right you. here. I was just feeling from you that you haven't quite worked through all this. I haven't. It's it's so overwhelming and the grieving process is coming in pieces, you know, mm -hmm. it's just like I'll sit back and then I'll it'll all come and I'll just be like really, really sad and just remember everything. But it's it's been a rough well, that's how it's rough to grieve. It's it's waves. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just I mean, Michael was just truly one of a kind, so this is such a huge loss. How did you become part of the whole um, London uh, tour that he was putting together? A friend of mine um, put my name in and um, referred me to the vocal director and the musical director, and I did a, um, a little audition? audition for them. Did you have to? You didn't have to audition for him, right? Well, like, when was the moment you met him? I saw him. This was um, at the forum when we first started rehearsing at the forum. Michael came in and started rehearsing with us, and that was the first time. Surreal. Very surreal. And what, what was that like for you? I mean, it was incredible. He was just so. He was Michael Jackson. I mean. Everything about him, he was performing amazing. I mean, the moment he got on that stage, it was just like his energy was so incredible. And I, my mouth was just on the floor because this was Michael Jackson and we were... And you got to perform with him. Mm -hmm. Were you intimidated or did you rise to the occasion? Mm -hmm. I was intimidated at the thought of it, but when he got there, it was... I just felt his love. He was such a, a warm person. He kept saying to us, thank you guys, I love you guys. And... Um, so I just felt that he was a very open person, and so when we did the duet, it was a beautiful experience. Oh. He came up and singing amazing, and just everything about it. It was surreal, though, to go from singing with him on stage to then a few days later singing in front of his family with him there in the casket. It must have been bizarre. Yes, it was heartbreaking to see that casket. I, it was it was a very very difficult service. Where where were you? When did you hear? I was at a restaurant and my dad called me and told me what was going on and um, didn't really believe it, you know, because a lot of things go around about Mike and I was just like, okay. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I got to the Staples Center, you know, that day for rehearsal where people were packing up their bags and oh. mm. it, was, it was the worst day ever to see the stage being collapsed and, you know, um, everyone in tears, people just silent just at a loss of words. And so you saw a very vibrant Michael, so you must have just been completely shocked. Completely shocked and just not understanding how this could happen. Um, to see him the night before and um, just performing so beautifully and then the next day to hear this. And, and so did you see him how, how late the night before? It was like around 12.30. Oh, wow. I was really? actually... You guys rehearsed late. Yeah. So then 12 hours later... Yeah. And he was fine. He was fine. He was you wouldn't fine. that thought him be fine. Yeah, yeah. I you know, for you it's an amazing situation because being chosen for this the, the London fifty shows must have been the most incredible moment of your career, which then paled to the next moment, which is singing at the memorial, which is beyond incredible. You you uh, so amazing up there, just commanding and I can't imagine what was going through your head. Yeah. Fine. You'd never I, know it on stage, you couldn't see it. Yeah, it was one of those experiences where, you know, the responsibility of what I had to do at that moment was so great, you know, but, you know, I was just so still grieving that it was like I just had to rise up and be like, okay, Judith, let's grieve afterwards, but right now there's a lot of people out there that... This is the kids got yeah. on stage at the end, and it's, it's just beautiful. This song always gives me chills, but here you do it. It's really nice. Right. What? There you are on stage. There's Smokey Robinson and Lionel Richie. What, what happens now for you? That 
tour is off, or do you go to London? Is there a show there, a memorial show? Still waiting to hear about the tribute. Um, not sure what tomorrow holds. Just what was the of, song you were supposed to sing with Michael? Was it Heal the World? Or? I Just Can't Stop Loving You. Oh. Yeah, which <laughs> has a whole other meaning now, you know. Oh, let, me, yeah. let me repeat. From Pasadena and Paris. <laughs> Your parents yeah. must be so okay. proud of you. They are. Judith yeah. Hill, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,